Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Chelsea facing Barcelona. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, Timo Werner, a high-quality striker, whatever way you analyse it. In the context of this game, what do you expect to see from him, Stuart? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts as Pini Quetta plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Matteo Kovacic in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen in goal. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the striker today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. And space here on the flank. Havertz. Real chance. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Sergio Busquets. Losing possession. And that pass could be troublesome. Just couldn't capitalise there. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. It's a perfect challenge. And space to exploit, maybe, but quick thinking defensively. Obama Yang. Onto De Jong. Pedri. Sergio Busquets. Defensive efficiency personified. And providing width. Could cross it in here. Not a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Well, for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and he's in some discomfort. But he's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And now the delivery. A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. De Jong. A 
Good work to regain possession. Conte. And attempting the through ball. Alonso. Pulls it back. Oh, he saved it well. Jordi Alba. Oh, he's lost possession. Conte. Delivered into the box. Not the best clearance. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough goal or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, they have it again. Chance to cross. Mount. He'll have a go here. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And short it is. Happy to take on the shot. Werner. Kovacic. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Timo Werner's greatest asset is his electrifying pace, but is that coming to the fore in this game, Stuart? Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Obama Young. It's a good looking ball in behind. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Well, they have the ball once more. He's in here. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, he could be in trouble here. Well, only a yellow card, but was there a case for a red one, Stuart? Well, maybe so. I think he's got a bit lucky there. I think he stopped a clear goal-scoring opportunity. <laughs> Clattered away. De Jong, able to skip past his man, and well, his teammate got him out of trouble. Now can they create something? A matter of keeping his composure. Can he finish? He got a good palm on it. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Went in strongly, decisively. 
Now Chelsea in a position of menace. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Well, he really read that brilliantly. Has a go. Able to get a body in the way. And a free kick awarded by the referee. Can he make it 1-0? And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes for a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. Well, Barcelona get things going again. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. Committed challenge. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Real chance, and it goes. Two goals in rapid fire fashion, and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Barca maintain possession, advantage. Might be able to get in behind the defence, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, fancy footwork. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And no way through. Alonso, well-timed tackle. De Jong, he would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Havertz, clears it away. De Jong and the referee has given the advantage to Barca and having already received a yellow card he's walking a very fine line both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench he'll take this on and blocked for now Crossing possibilities. A deft clearance. And they will make the change now. Number 19, Thomas. To be replaced by number 7, Osman Dembele. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Well, thumped clear. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. 
And with that, the attack fizzles out. And that is full time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.